In this lecture, we're going to be setting up the cloud. So we're going to actually set up. So we start by going to libraries and then right clicking on libraries and clicking add. What we're going to add is a cloud storage library. We're going to choose the S3 Amazon. So the S3 is like the storage device essentially. We're going to call ours the cloud backup is what we, we're going to name it. We're going to change our media agent to actually the comserve. Comserve there. And um, authentication is going to be access key and secret keys. So before we do anything else, let's make sure that our NTP is set on our server. That's the network time protocol. So the command we're going to type in is w32tm slash config space slash sys from flags colon or semicolon yeah semicolon semicolon I forget manual space slash manual peer list colon uh, quotations or explanation it's quotations yeah zero dot pull dot ntp dot org close quotations slash reliable um, colon yes uh, slash update. So what that's going to allow us to do is actually avoid any errors from happening because before um, I set this up I had like a skewed error like a time skewed error skewed error and um, this is the solution. Let me show you the website I went to. I went to um, pool.ntp.org and I scrolled down a little bit and this is actually what I I saw right here, this is the command I actually use. I just use one pool. I didn't use them all. Um, so that's the command I'm using for this. So there is one more thing we need to do before we get started. We actually need to identify all of that right there. Like what is our service host? What's the access key and all that? So once you, um, once you have like an AWS account, they're free. So like aws.amazon.com. Yeah, you're just going to click on menu and then um, search just type S3 and then um, just scroll down a little bit you'll see cloud object storage click on that and this tells you a little bit about what it is so once you have an Amazon account right you're gonna go to my account and you're gonna log into the AWS management console from here you have a couple different things and we're going to go down to under storage or you can just type S3 but click on S3 here okay and we're going to create um, we're going to create a bucket a buckets no different than a, a bucket you used to carry water in for um, your relatives who said hey youngin go fetch me a bucket of water right you get the bucket you go over there and you fetch some water, right? Same thing. So it's a bucket. Just imagine a bucket in your mind, right? A bucket. So anyway, we're going to click on bucket or create bucket rather. And um, so the the buckets are unique across the world. Um, so, you, you know, any bucket you create, that's you should have it uniquely identified with whatever. Um, we're going to name ours... Um, um, CVS CVS3 bucket one right and our region we're gonna choose is gonna be let's choose uh, Mumbai or Bombay we're gonna click next I'm gonna leave you all these defaults I'm not gonna click anything and click next I'm gonna leave this um, default everything there I'm gonna leave it like it is click next Everything here, I'll leave default like it is, and I'll create bucket. Okay, the bucket's created. Awesome. So let's click on the bucket. Okay, and let's click on properties. Let's click on uh, let's click on properties. Let's click on versioning, and let's enable versioning. Click save. Let's click back on overview, and then click. Um, properties again let's click back on S, uh, Amazon S3 
back to our bucket. Okay. Next thing we do, we need to add um, like a key. Let's go over this Commvault. Let's see what it requires. Okay. So first things first, it needs a re, uh, service host, an access key, security key. So let's work on that service host first. So in Google, we're going to type um, S3 regions. And the first thing, right, region and availability zone. Let's click on that document. So here we are. Uh, let's scroll down until we see like S3 Mumbai. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong URL, actually. Come back to Google. And we'll type... Um, Let's see, Amazon or AWS S3 endpoint URL. Actually, let's just uh, let's do this. Go look, click on, type in Google A, uh, Google AWS regions and endpoints. It's the very first one. It's uh, AWS regions and endpoints, um, Amazon Web Services. Okay, in that document, let's scroll down until we see S3. Okay, here we are. Amazon Simple Storage S Service S3. So we're looking at, so Asia Pacific, Bombay, or Mumbai. We're looking at um, s3.ap.south-1.amazonus, or Amazon AWS.com. Okay, let's put that in our service host here. Okay, that's in, looks good. Next is to get the access key and then the secret keys. Oh, we do have the bucket. Let's put the bucket name in, actually. So that's bucket um, CVS three bucket one. So we're down. We're now at our. Um, we're we're back at our AWS board, our AWS you know console, right? So let's click on um, services, and then we're going to go to security and uh, security identity and compliance. We're going to click on IAM. So once in the IAM. Um, you need to, we need to create a group. So let's create, let's create a group, right? Shall we? So click on groups and we're going to click a group name, whatever it is. Let's see, CV, uh, backup, Commonwealth backup, right? That's fine. Next. And then we're going to choose, oh, nice. It's here already. So we're going to choose Amazon S3 full access. That's what we want. Click on next. So we're going to create the group CV backup or CVBU. So we're going to add a, now we need to add a user to that group, right? So we're going to click on users. We're going to click on add user. Call it um, CV user. Um, and then next thing we're going to click on is program access. So we need that access key in that select or uh, that access key and that secret access key to make it happen. Okay, click on uh, permission, next permissions. Okay. So we're going to add our user um, to a group, which is going to be um, CVBU. And we're going to push next review. Finally, we're going to click on create user. Okay, so here's what we need, right? We need, we need this information if we want to actually make it happen. So we're going to click on, um, click on show. And all of this information, all this, uh, this code and all that, right? We need the access key for, for um, setting up our cloud. And we also need this secret access key. So let's capture this information. And let's head over to our ComServe. And now we're ready to put our information in. So we put our access key in and our secret key. Everything is good to go, looks like. And let's push OK. Fantastic. OK. So you see that here you have the cloud uh, backup now. So we can right click on it and go to properties. Some information about the cloud device. This is the same thing as if you have like a library, like a storage library. Same exact thing, no different. Um, so you have the library name, the vendor, um, mount path. It's enabled. Um, the mount paths, right? So fill and spill or spill and fill. We have our associations. There's none yet, actually. And then you have the security and the disk usage. So let's do a backup uh, on the cloud here. 
I'm going to go to like, um, you know, media, agent, file agent, Windows file agent. We'll do a, a quick uh, backup. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com. And the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault. Get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.